So what's up? Stay together. What's up? Emily, stay with JJ. They are uh, exploring one last uh, picture gallery that we missed. How are you? How do you enjoy? How do you enjoy your trip? How'd you enjoy your trip? No comment. Museum food, such a rip off. Museum food, such a rip off. That's it, you know, yeah. that's it. I mean, uh huh, okay, I'm trying to hold on. Though I did do the all you can eat at SeaWorld. Yeah, that's all fun day. sometimes, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so, but so, I can't have the town. But I can that. go to websites and museums and find those things, things, but they're way tucked in. Yes. You've got to know what search words to use. And you have to know to like don't go to the ticket price. You got to scale all the way down to like discounts or memberships. That, that is so long that museums yes. do not get more um, scholarship funding mm -hmm. for low income. We'll see the museums for all, and more of them have joined on. And pre-COVID, it was really progressing good. Then what I noticed with COVID is when they started going to the time entry reservation, yes. you had to physically go there and show your card to get the price. They don't offer it all that. But that means you can't that. reserve yeah. your, like, you can't even get in because you can't reserve it. You got to reserve in advance. You have to reserve it if you have a ticket. Right. So I noticed that kind of threw off that museum for all this discount. It's like you can't, and sometimes I get around it because I put, when it, it offers the zero to two ticket mm -hmm. for free, mm -hmm. I'll throw four of those in there mm -hmm. to reserve oh, four right. slots. There you go. I mean, and then I, when I get there, it's like, okay, this is what we're doing. The discounted are the, uh, that's what I did here. That's smart. Because our discount from the museum, but won't let me do that online. So Got I it. did the zero to two to reserve to make sure we could get in today. That is smart. And then paid at the window so I could get my 50% off the ticket. Yeah, it's so smart. Uh, <laughs> it's I like the way you that one well. uh, <laughs> Any more tips? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait, okay, wait, there was that one. And um, please, and yes, the one with their, uh, if you're traveling with an elder individual, mm -hmm. if your family, you, you, like I said, multi-generational, yeah take advantage of all the, right. uh, because on the passport, uh, disabled or the senior oh, yeah. passport, you're entitled to four visitors. For the whole car or the whole family. A, a whole family, car, the whole family group, yeah. or things like that. And we used that in Fort Sumter. And oh, yeah. we uh, threw it out and he was like, oh, you're good. You got four people, go, well, you know. Um, and I think what it is is you have to put forth the effort to locate, like you said, and find them and they're not you know you just you just can't walk up and get them but sometimes I consider myself very technologically savvy and very smart and I have a hard time doing oh it. yes they will hide but them from you folks that are not savvy with computers and technology and searching it's just not fair that it's so hard to look yes you have to do so much mm -hmm. research and you do it. have to do a lot because I noticed when we hit Orlando I had to track who owned what 
I didn't know about the tickets that you found. The group mm -hmm. museum tickets. I didn't know that one. Yes. And See, I we didn't know about it until she was selling it. Since so she was selling to us, yeah. yes. And then we were like, oh, that actually makes perfect sense. But if you're at the museum, you need, you know, look into it. I, I, you know, it's like you have to go to the uh, curators and, uh, you know, yeah. folks like that to ask what What's is available. available. Because, you, you know, as, see, the one thing about this country is it doesn't offer that information. Because it assumes everybody's going to pay their way. Well, they want you to because I realized, like, with Orlando, the grouping of who owns what parts, because you got the Bush Gardens grouping, which is like Aquatica right. and SeaWorld. That's what we need. Yes, and we got that one. But then you don't think of certain things, like make sure you flash your pass when you go to parks, so you get your free parking, which they don't remind you about. That's $25 of parking you're paying for that you don't have to with your pass. Or the 20% off when you do sit down to eat, you don't think about it. And they don't push, they sell you the membership, but they don't push yeah. that. Uh, so you have to read through it. I mean, you know, pull out all your discounts, all your this, all your that. we found out with Legoland, well, Legoland, Madame Tucson, the aquarium that's in Orlando, mm -hmm. are all part of Legoland. Oh. They're not in the same site? No, but they're... In that and so you have to investigate. So yeah, yeah. So you have to investigate your what what right. you bought. You know what I'm saying? You have to, and that's what we did. Then don't buy right away. We just we went to get something to eat, sat down and talked about it, looked at it, and then decided. Because what like, you buying? I'm so thirsty. You're so thirsty. And you're so okay. I got stuff for you in the car. I'm not. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what um, Sabrina said. Why don't you go to the playground? Right? So, but I, I just, you know, the goal is, and I think is true, and that's what I was telling her. We have to let people know that this lifestyle, is, it doesn't have to be out of your range. Yes. Okay. And that's what I tell people, I travel full time and they go, oh, you must, you know, I have to work for a living, well, you know. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't have to be like that. No, it doesn't. No. Okay. No, I've had to give up some stuff. Great. Right. And some, like, but why not? songs I'm go this when way you while don't think about. <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I definitely have to put that back and right. not, uh, that's a thought and I can see it some other way. Right. Uh, Well, so much. Now we're on the outside. Let's go for a wild dolphin cruise. Probably. No, well, the sun's coming out now, so. My glasses are fogging up. <laughs> what did you say, Sabrina? I missed it. Oh, they were saying they might do the dolphin cruise today. They might not because of weather. Okay, yeah, I need to work on that one tonight because y'all were just rattling off. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. No, well, what we found was like, um, they do a $49 down per pack for the animals to do a Florida resident. They don't check residents. I found that too. And then if you want to put it over here, it's $10 a month. Oh, okay. 53 minutes. See, we're 53 we're minutes. We're on the too. south. We're just south of Tampa Bay. Okay, so you're on the south side of Tampa Bay and we're on, on the, the north, north side, side of Tampa Bay. Okay. So we plan to be here a long time and do a lot in Tampa. Okay, yeah, Tampa uh, is a quieter form of, or, of Orlando. Yeah. And you know, spring break is, you know spring break is next week. Oh, God. Yes. And Tampa is a hot spot. I forgot. Yes. It snuck up on me. Where That's I why like, we went to, you'll laugh at me. But I forget, uh, have you ever done this where you forget that regular people go to Bush Gardens on the weekends? 
Yes, yes. Like when you travel, who cares if it's Saturday or Sunday, right? You don't we, think we about it. up in Bush Gardens on a Sunday. That's another thing. <laughs> you know what, though? I ended up scheduling Bush Gardens on a Friday. You and never want to, if you're traveling, you never want to go to a theme park or anything that. like that on I a Saturday and a Sunday. I, I forgot actually scheduled we Bush Gardens <laughs> on the weekend. And here's why. It closes at 9 p.m. On the weekends. On Friday and Sunday. It closes at 9 p.m. So that extra couple hours, I was like, is worth the... Uh, so I did tell the girls that one thing that I was going to spring for at Bush Gardens was that, that when we did go to do the ride, right, that we would get the advanced feeling for that one day. You know what I'm thinking Are you I thinking might do? That? Yes. It's a lot. It's like $100 for all of them. how were the lines when you were there? It was awful. They were like over an hour long. Oh, okay. Lord. Have you ever used a fern? No. It allows you to break your payment over a hundred dollars into four payments. Oh yes, I have. I have used so that. So with some of the like classes, our bulk buys on this leg of the trip, yeah. I've broken them up so they don't hit me all at okay. one. Uh, you know, guys, I'm gonna have to create y'all's own little <laughs> YouTube like video. <laughs> okay. So okay, you know, I, folks, I let them that. introduce themselves. <laughs> so right here we have... Wait, we're the budgeting mommies. We have a side name, though. There you go. Okay. Um, um, that's but, a great idea. I hadn't thought about you know, doing it um, that. A firm and quad cane. And you can put it in your Apple Pay or your Google yeah. Wallet if you want to use it on site. But what I found was... Because, of course, all my income comes on the first half of the month, mm -hmm. the rental, that the breaking it throughout the month yeah. allowed me money to still do other, not For buy us, it all up. For us, it's possible, too. It's not that we can't ever go in, it, but it's that we have to break it up in yes. here monthly and that's where what I, income comes in a month. So, so that's what I found was the, with that. It allowed me to break those up as a gas payment for like the universal yeah. uh, passage. Oh, this I is going to be a really passage. interesting uh, YouTube video. <laughs> so I broke it down even more. I broke it into four because it was like 700. So I broke it into right. four payments with 700 down. And then uh, some, right, so it wouldn't hit. And Folks, they could go on and on and on with <laughs> savings <laughs> right here. I'm just. There you go. had that money to make it through the month because it didn't get right. eaten in that one right. drop. And then I just budgeted the second and ends up being like two payments for the month. I budgeted that second payment out. Right. I still didn't get hit with the whole... Uh, it's when it's the whole thing. Yes. You know, it's like, oh. Food, <laughs> museum. <laughs> but yes, never. That, that's a, that was a no-no. You never... Folks, don't do this. <laughs> Travel on the weekdays. Never. Okay. But how were the lines? So Bush Garden said Tuesdays and Thursdays at arrival time was the slowest. They, I mean, the, the fastest line. Okay. That's because school. Now see, that's the thing about the membership. What I've run into is that when we go into places like this, the regular park ticket prices are so high, you might as well buy a membership. Yeah, that's what we did at the Jacksonville Zoo. And, uh, okay. And, yeah. And then, if you run around or if you're you here, go there twice or you're something. twice, you pay for it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but the other advantage is if you have friends, or you have other travelers and you, you meet, meet up someplace, up, it's like, okay, so it's like my membership and then we'll add the cop tickets right. in there and everybody free and then and free you pay for lunch like or you know whatever and it's 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 done that you way. The switch moment is like uh, yeah. switch up yeah, or I will tell you this. She would like to switch Lego Lego. Because the ride